hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel uh welcome to the space where we talk about all things marriage all things motherhood lifestyle and all the fun stuff in today's video well happy anniversary to me your girl has been cooking eh for two years <laughs> Yeah, uh, Ugandans and will say it in a in a more fun way that uh, mm? <laughs> I've been cooking for two years. I've been married for two years, and it's been a, quite a journey. And in today's video, I want to talk about because it's two years. I thought two lessons that I have learned in my uh, two years of marriage. Lesson number one: I have learned that marriage is work and before i go into that i did a video of uh, lessons that i've learned in my one year six months of marriage uh, i did six lessons if you haven't watched that please do and then compare <laughs> in the last four months what has changed really nothing much but i feel like uh in marriage we learn every day it's a journey and uh you gotta be willing to learn <laughs> so and i think it will be yearly when i'm three years into marriage i'll come back and tell you what happened in three years so going back to the whole thing in my two years of marriage the lesson number one that i've learned is that marriage is work both literally and figuratively like talk of work like hmm. the number one thing that i struggled with is like planning for meals meal planning that is work guys like uh, what are we having for lunch what are we having for dinner like dang <laughs> like the rest i felt like it's not that hard but <laughs> my random people know what i'm talking about like literally planning for meals is work talk of work literally cleaning cooking all that like yeah even if you have help like you have people who do that for you but you have to literally be involved make sure your place is clean supervise all these for those who have help for those who don't have you do it yourself and if you're a control freak like me you end up digging in <laughs> making sure you do the cleaning uh and there's some areas you do you have to actually clean yourself i'm not saying you didn't clean or you didn't cook before you got married i won't saying that but as you all know when you're living under your parents sorry mom does we push us you are she's always struggling with you hey you, you're leaving the house stay clean is it yeah i'm keeping it real or sometimes if talk of cooking like you you wake up in the morning and food is ready like either your mom has cooked or she's made sure food is there uh all that but now that you're married you have to make sure this is on you like i've started like with the simplest things that i've learned in marriage not that i didn't know but when you're actually into it is when you realize wow it's actually work over the weekend because right now i only have a nanny yeah you put in the work even after work in the evening you're home you put in the work you make sure you're back and then doing the cleaning and then the cooking and all that so it's what guys i've learned that it's actually work Talk under the whole thing that marriages work uh there's also the emotional intelligency that is work i mean you gotta know how to navigate all these things like before you're married you you take all the things for granted but as soon as you're married you have put in the work learning your partner learning what works for you guys uh when i talk about work i'm gonna mix it like literally the work and then like you know the work they talk about everybody preachers out here how marriages work work from the two of you like even planning the dates it's not gonna plan itself it's work <laughs> budgeting and managing the finances like of course you're now two people trying to build a future together so you sit down and plan all the things like what what you want to do in the year where you want to be at in the years to come as a family so all that you gotta hey adulthood <laughs> you test adulthood in my opinion when you're married like the things no more i feel like no, no matter how old you are when you're not married forgive me if this may offend some 
people out there but that's not my intention it's just the way i'm perceiving this whole thing you may be i don't know how old but as long as you you know you have you're not married you're not you, you know there is a way you just eh, if it happens eh, but as soon as you are there's the way you just you, you your your mind is like battling all the things and trying to figure out life as you move ahead no no when kids are involved oh they can stretch your capacity <laughs> having to multitask making sure you, 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 your partner is taken care of making sure your babies are taken care of making sure the extended family because now you 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 you're married even to into the family all that it's work i have learned that it's work you gotta put in the work is you're not gonna sleep and wake up and expect that everything musicora or the happy marriage that you want is gonna get itself there no you gotta invest discovering yourself also invest in discovering yourself because as we grow in age we also grow like uh, in personality and through experiences we end up being yeah the mature people so that's why when someone gets married they're like no no wakuze. they know they have been there <laughs> they know what they're talking about so it's no joke talk of marriage being work like uh i know in uh in the in the lessons that i learned in my first year of marriage video i talk of communication but yo i always talk about this because it is the foundation i believe like airing out uh putting everything on the table not bottling things up but also i like to say that communication comes in all forms of ways like learning to to, to, to navigate all the things or learning your partner as well the other day I, I was on a phone call with him well I had gone to the studio to to edit a video and uh, while I was there unfortunately the communication between me and uh, <laughs> hi where are media <laughs> I was at the studio and he had left uh, uh, for a few minutes so I was there uh, in those few minutes I had to call my husband and we were on the phone call talking and then we discussed some things making jokes and all after the call I asked him uh, because it was a whole it was a long discussion and we just you know goofing around and like reminiscing about what what we had talked about uh, you know in the past and then he's like you know when they say women don't forget yeah it was that moment i had not forgotten about something and i was like telling him this and that this happened not in a bad way it was like a real chill comfortable conversation over the phone and we're like actually we're first timing oh no video call <laughs> whatsapp video call and then we're like talking and laughing about it at the end of the at the end of the call um, i asked him uh-huh what did you get out of this conversation <laughs> he picked literally a quarter a quarter is a lot of what we said so also figuring that out in communication is very important sometimes you lose them women would like to explain you you want to address something you first start from the beginning and then it has a heading it has sorry it has a title and then the body and then the conclusion by the time you get to the body and the conclusion he's lost he's like i have a like you've lost them so you get to the point this and this and this and this made me feel this way bam, 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 you're done so even figuring that out you gotta put in the work because you have to stop and listen and observe as well Ooh, talking of observing and listening and learning you have to unlearn what you already know going into marriage you have we read all these books we listen to all these youtube videos hence my video if you haven't subscribed by the way it's this red button please subscribe it's free <laughs> it really helped me a lot if you do subscribe okay as i was saying you unlearn even the things you thought you knew about marriage as you go into it you discover uh, i need to learn more some more yeah so as you go i feel like the things you've learned and i feel like when i come back also in years from now and tell and tell you about the lessons that i've learned i'll probably tell you that i i had to first unlearn something in order to learn something else i hope that uh makes sense when i say marriage is work uh, i mean you gotta put in the work otherwise no no nah. so uh if and also marriage is what you make it so the work you put into it will determine how you want to make your marriage work as well that is the number one lesson that i have learned
uh, in this past two years of marriage. So the second lesson that I have learned in my two years of marriage is to practice advanced forgiveness. I read about this somewhere. Did I read about it? No, I think I heard about it from a pastor who was preaching about it, like, like practicing advanced forgiveness. And uh, I began to practice it in my marriage. And I have learned that uh, it's a practice that I'm still doing. Uh, and it's one of the lessons that I've learned in this second year of marriage that I have learned to practice uh, advanced forgiving. Why do I say so? <laughs> I feel like, in my opinion, the only way to survive this journey is to practice forgiving. Even if you don't have it in you, practice it. Pray about it to have the forgiving heart. Along the way, you find that you easily get offended by your partner. I may offend him, he may offend me. But when I say I have learned to, to advancely forgive, what do, I, what do I mean? You forgive when they don't even know they have done anything wrong. You forgive when you feel like, or, or when they say they are sorry, or if you know something is gonna offend you, you just wire your mind to like, you know what? <laughs> okay, it's not a license for them to like, you know, hurt you and do, uh, and, uh, and do like uh, things to make you upset. But I feel like it's for your own sanity and joy in this journey. Because if you're gonna dwell on every little thing, I feel like it will rob you of the, the, the good things. So I choose to focus on the good things. So I wear my mind to like, hey, go in my happy place. What it did, if it does, if it does something that isn't, you know, doesn't sit right with me, I wire my mind to like that moment he did something good. You know what I mean? So for my own joy and sanity, I, I, I reflect to the good times. It doesn't mean that I let it go, but of course, I, I, in the first lesson, I say you learn how to communicate. I, we are still learning, but so far, we have, there's progress, there's progress. So when I just don't react immediately, it's not because I'm not offended, but it's because I don't feel like is there something that I want to address immediately or I want it to rob my joy at a particular moment. So I choose, you know what? I forgive you regardless. <laughs> well, forgiveness is a very wide thing and uh, mastering it takes a lot of energy. We as people, it, I mean, there is, I forgive you but I don't forget <laughs> kind of attitude. But uh, as soon as you learn to forgive, even if they don't ask you for forgiveness, uh, when they actually do forgive, uh, when they don't even know, because most of the times they don't know and they don't know i choose to forgive advanced forgiveness you get now you get what i mean <laughs> yeah so those two major lessons that i have learned in my second year of marriage i thought i should share them with you today is my anniversary uh, me and hubby and uh, i thought i should uh give you guys this video but before i log off let me give you a bonus point or a bonus lesson choose love every single time oftentimes we forget why we loved this person why we love this person or why we loved going into it or why we chose them among all these people but choosing to love them every single day choosing them over and over again i feel like it's a secret to a happy marriage those who ask me hey, why do you give advice on marriage and yet you just you know you're into it i feel like every person's journey is different and i learned to go into it with an open mind and wanting to learn that's why as i go every step of the way i feel like sharing is my my way of uh, of processing everything and i hope you enjoy the video also i am no professional i just share my experiences with you and i hope you enjoy this video if you have enjoyed it give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and uh i wish you all the love in the world and that those who are embarking on this journey of marriage i hope you enjoy it well i pray for you <laughs> may you enjoy it love each other and yeah i'll see you in my next video peace and light bye